We have been taught about sharing the word of God with others, no matter what the consequences may be. But then Jesus also said in his Gospels about not casting pearls in front of swines and also shaking the dust off the feet. Please, could you explain? See, as a child of God, we all have a big responsibility. Since we have experienced the peace of God and enjoy that fellowship with God, and when we look at people around us going through all their toils and how messed up their life is, a child of God, he cannot hold himself back. Filled with that passion for the perishing, he steps out of his comfort zone with a zeal in his heart that anyhow my brothers and sisters, they too should experience the peace that I am experiencing, the joy, that communion with God. So it is, number one, the passion that drives a child of God to set aside his comfort and step out to share with others about Christ. So before he steps out, he spends time crying for others, interceding for others. He is on his knees crying for others. What makes him do all of that? The passion that drives him just like a vehicle, a car or a truck. The fuel inside ignites, propels the vehicle to carry that load and move forward. And no one can stop it. Same way, it is the passion for souls that propels a child of God. And that passion only comes when we love the Lord with all our heart. And Holy Spirit God is there. Holy Spirit God is there who helps us go after the lost. So, we don't do go after others just because it's, it's a responsibility. We are not doing it just like Pilate to wash off our hands. No. We'll be crying. We'll be interceding, toiling. That's the work of every response, every believer. Not ministers alone, every believer. If you have tasted the goodness of the Lord, you will at any cost want others also to experience that joy. So, there are occasions where others, they refuse. Yes, as human beings, we get disappointed, but that doesn't mean that we quit. That doesn't mean that we wash off our hands. And that doesn't mean that we will say, Lord, send your judgment upon them. No. Even if others do not accept the truth that we share, still we'll be crying for them. So now, what does Christ mean when he says, don't throw the pearls before the swines? That means there are people who don't value God's word. So when you come across people who don't value God's word, don't try to force it down their throat. Don't force it down their throat because they don't know the value of God's word. Now, and then when we say dust off, uh, we have to dust off or shake off the dust off our feet, what does that mean? The disciples were told to do it when the houses were not welcome then you did your part. So, and then you are preparing that house for that judgment. So, in these days, when someone is refusing the word, does that mean that immediately we'll wash off our hands? No. Holy Spirit God will fill our heart with that love, with that passion, that we will be crying, we'll be looking for an opportunity, setting an example before others, the agony, it's just like a mother is about, a woman is about to give birth. The agony of childbirth. 
crying before the Lord, fighting against the powers of darkness, setting an example, toiling after a soul, and it's all with that passion that not one should be lost. So when you do your work, a time comes when the Spirit of God Himself tells you, hardens your heart concerning that person because God through you has been giving that person so many opportunities. But that person, if he keeps on refusing the way of the Lord, God will not force. And we do it only at the guidance of the Holy Spirit and not because we are emotional. So let us all in these days, as the coming of our Lord is drawing near, be filled with that passion for the perishing and step out of our comfort zones with one desire that others should also know the truth. My Lord paid the price so that no one should go to hell and let us labor and may the Lord bless us with new souls in the days to come. May God bless us.